In this knife talk video, we're looking at this knife. This is a DCL Knives Custom fixed blade. It's a Quiken. I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, I think Quiken or Quiken. Um, but uh, it's a traditional Japanese type design, traditionally a, a working knife. And this is a smaller one. Um, so Quiken, you've probably seen it if you're watching this video because they're good number of Quiken style designs in, you know, folding knives and fixed blades. Uh, a bunch of different companies make them, but it's K-W-A-I-K-E-N. So um, you can, you know, look those up if you're interested in this design. But uh, this is a smaller one, so you can see that it fits in this sheath really well. Um, this sheath, I believe, is actually made by uh, the... So DCL Knives is, is a younger guy. I think he's in college. Um, so he can't make knives super often because he is in college. And I believe his, his dad has made sh these sheaths. Um, so I think he is making some Kydex sheaths now, but the leather ones are, are made by his dad, I think. It's a really, really nice sheath. You can see it's hand stitched, hand told. It has his logo, a clip. This could be used as a belt clip, but um, I've used it as a pocket clip and it does fit really well in the pocket. It's a small knife. You can see that um, it definitely, you know, is, is not a big knife, especially as fixed blades go. So this does uh, sit in your pocket well. The clip doesn't have super strong retention. It's actually pretty loose retention, but because of how the lip of this um, uh, leather, it's a pretty big lip uh, that that leather creates there, it actually does catch on your pocket and you can usually take it out of the sheath, you know, without the sheath coming with the knife as you pull it out of your pocket. So it's a really nice sheath, um, and I do, I have been wanting to try out carrying a fixed blade in my pocket. I've tried carrying fixed blades a whole bunch of times. I carry and use fixed blades in the outdoors, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't really like carrying a fixed blade on my belt. So I wanted to try a pocket fixed blade, and I thought this would be a good opportunity. Um, it is a small knife, and you know I kind of talked about that with uh, Drew of DCL Knives. Um, I actually had one of his knives a couple years ago. It was actually bigger than this, but the handle was shaped a little differently, and it ended up being too small for my hand, so I ended up selling it. But he just makes knives really, really well, and they come in at a good price for being a truly handmade um, knife. So I wanted to get this one and try it out. I've carried it a little bit and used it a little bit, and I think that it is pretty small for my hand, um, but it's a really, really well-made knife. So let's talk about the knife itself. Um, the handle here is ironwood with natural G10 pins. So you can see those G10 pins in there, lanyard tube style pin at the back. Um, the ironwood is really, really nice. You can see it has a lot of character and a lot of grain to it. I really like ironwood. I think it's a good looking wood, somewhat similar to Cocobolo or uh, Cocobolo, however you say that. Um, but I really like the look of this, this wood. Um, then the blade is 3V steel, which is uh, a more, it's, a, it's not a stainless steel, uh, but it has more chromium than, you know, 1095 and things like that. Uh, so I think it has a little bit less than D2, a little bit less chromium than D2. So, you know, it, definitely you have to watch it. And I put, I put oil on this thing. Um, that's why there's some, you know, leather from the sheath and everything. But, uh, you can see that this has, if you're familiar with this style knife, pretty classic design. Um, it has a almost straight spine. I think there is a slight drop towards the tip, um, but pretty much straight. And then it has a really nice swedge on both sides. You can see it's a pretty even swedge, well ground, um, nice crisp lines. And then it's a high flat saber grind. So it doesn't come all the way up, but it's a flat grind. Um, that's what a saber grind is when it doesn't come the whole way to the uh, spine. And uh, it's really well done. So if you look, it has a nice plunge line on this side. Same deal on the other side. They come up pretty much the same height on both sides. So it's a really well ground knife. Um, and I appreciate that. It seems to be ground thin. So if you take a look there, it comes to what looks like a pretty nice thin edge. So, you know, it should cut well and everything. Like I say, I've used it a little bit, but not super extensively. I haven't sharpened it or anything. Um, 
so a nice blade shape uh you know a good bit of belly there as you can see usable tip a little bit of straight edge for you know if you needed to cut cardboard and things like that um, but a really useful design and uh, part of that you know useful blade design on on this style knife is that these were traditionally you know work knives i guess the the kwai ken um, was you know just a, a working knife a you know utility knife uh, so the handle also has a relatively um, traditional shape. So what I mean by that is that it, it tapers a little bit towards the butt of the handle. Now, um, I actually don't know that that makes the knife more comfortable in hand for me. Because it is a small knife, uh, you can see that I can't really get a full four finger grip, more like three and a half. Um, it, it's really small there at the butt. And so when you're, you're cutting, you know, like this, it, I, w I think it would be a little bit easier to control and a little bit more comfortable in the hand for me with my big, you know, wide hands. Uh, if, if it was a little bit, you know, less tapered towards the butt of the handle. Uh, but otherwise the handle feels good. And part of that is due to this diamond shape. So this is how you know, he ground the, the handle. I think that first of all, it does feel good in the hand. It's not like this, you know, transition is sharp or, you know, gives a hot spot or anything. It just gives the, the handle a little bit of heft in the center and then, you know, less towards the uh, sides, which make it so you can control it pretty well. Um, you see some kitchen knives with handles like this. And I think that it's a good handle design for using a knife. Um, it also just really looks good to me. I, I like this kind of angular look to the handle. Um, if I were to change one thing, I think I would have had this ground almost a little bit more this way so that there's a little place for your fingers to you know, rest in a pinch grip. I think that would be a good uh, design choice um, you know, on a handle style like this. Uh, so I really like the look of the handle and I think on a bigger knife, on a longer knife, it would be really, really comfortable. It's just a little small in my hand. And uh, I think he tends to make smaller knives. Uh, I asked if he had any, you know, larger. He had a, a Puka, which is a traditional Finnish um, style knife that's actually really similar to these Kwaikens. Um, but it didn't have a sheath, and I part of the value, I think, is this really nice leather sheath. So I, I went with this one. Um, but definitely, you know, his, his knives are on the smaller end. So hopefully he makes some larger knives. He has some really, really cool designs. Again, it's really, really well made. And if he does make um, some knives a little bit longer, a little bit longer handle especially, um, I definitely uh, will be interested in checking them out, trying them out. Um, but again, this is a really, really well made knife from DCL Knives. And uh, I like it a lot. I think it's a really good looking knife. And I think it's a knife that could definitely be used as an everyday carry um, if you want to have a pocket carryable fixed blade. Definitely a little bit small for me, but otherwise a, a really nice knife. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, check out my other videos. I've got a whole bunch of videos on traditional folding knives, um, some uh, fixed blades, some modern knives. Um, so don't forget to check those out. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see uh, when I post new videos. If you've enjoyed this video, like it. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. I try to answer all of them and I'm always interested to see what people have to say. And otherwise, don't forget to go out and do good.